12 News is taking a closer look at a black owned business in the valley. Some of them are in downtown Phoenix where this past week's protests have taken place. And these business owners are an important voice in our community, offering perspective on what's happening across the country and offering advice for the next generation. Here's Team 12's Vanessa Ramirez with more. It's a really good concept that we've had with Nashville hot chicken. And Already a staple in Phoenix, the owners of Lolo's Chicken and Waffles branched out and brought this new concept a little more than a year ago. Monroe's Hot Chicken. It's really been a successful thing for us. It's really been really good for us. Normally a bustling restaurant, COVID-19 slowed things down for Monroe's. That is until the hashtag Black Tuesday popped up. It, it was absolutely incredible yesterday. Uh, we're usually out of here. We close at 4. It was 4.15, 4.30. There were people still walking through the door yesterday. A social movement to amplify the African-American voices and perspective and support businesses. And it was like, oh, we're going to run out of product. We're going to run out of product. It was like, oh, no, we're not. We're going to figure this out. It's the kind of boost that Ralph King's business needs. With the influx of people gathering in downtown Phoenix for the protests, Ralph says people just want to be heard. You know, it's that time. I think I think they've had enough. Um, I love it that here lately it's been just really just a peaceful thing and everybody's voicing their opinion. And I think they ought to have that right to do that. That's part of being an American, right? And he hopes this time, whatever changes that are made will last. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of the protests, you know, I'm not a young man, so I've seen a lot of these protests. And it seems like after a few days and everything, it goes down and everything goes back to the way. I hope that out of this one, we get to see some real, real change. And even though it won't be easy, he's confident it can happen. Really sit down to the table. Peacefully. And iron out some of these issues. Vanessa Ramirez, 12 News.